Hi guys, today we are doing some thrifting. So I know I've never taken you guys with me thrift shopping. It's something I love to do. You guys said you wanted to come with me. So we're gonna head out. I'm gonna hit a few of my favorite spots. They are not Salvation Army or Goodwill. They're just small little shops. So I'll take you inside. You can see what they look like. We'll see what kind of interesting things we come across. And then when we come back home, I'll show you guys what I picked up. Let's go shopping. And just like that, we are transported about a half an hour, 20 minutes from my house to one of my favorite spots. And this is where they're putting out all of their seasonal decor. I'm finding some really interesting things over here. In particular, some faux treats. I have made these in the past, you guys know. Looks like these little mugs were actually from the 99 cents only store. They've got lots of bunny decor and some eggs hitting the shelves. Definitely more affordable than places like Michael's and even Hobby Lobby. This little guy reminds me of the one I just showed you at Walmart that they put out for Easter. It's a homemade version. They definitely have a lot to choose from here. I was tempted by these little wells for like salt and pepper. There's a lot of Ray Dunn in this particular section and um, I wish I had not just picked up one of these for tortillas. Oh man, this one's only $3. I think they're up to $6 now even at Walmart and I'm spotting something from my childhood back here. They have these roosters. Uh, my mom collected these. They are definitely um, vintage, as am I these days. And does anyone recognize these? My mom had those on the wall in our living room. Now they're only $1.50. <laughs> um, I do like this store that we're in because they do have quite a bit of craft supplies. Like this is a set of three wooden legs. That'd be great for a project, maybe for a plant holder or something like that and it's a lot more affordable than your traditional craft stores you just have to be willing to put in the time and root through some things they also have a whole decor section i'm finding a lot of lamps that are priced more than what you would find in stores because that style is back and everybody is sort of making them look new again in that pottery style from the 80s just goes to show you that everything old becomes new again things come back around if you live long enough and this is another example they have quite a few of these i think that they're swans and um, definitely poultry they have this rooster back here i've seen people make those look completely different with different paint techniques there's even some rooster prints up above so it looks like someone's thinning their collection they also had this which does this mean lemon decor is out of style people are starting to donate it this is actually a really good deal four dollars for all those lemons you could just take them off of the arrangement if you didn't like them and feel a vase or something i love to see things that are probably in other stores in my thrift stores like this that is from i think home goods here it's eight dollars there it would have been 15. they also have some cool coleman vintage looking camping stoves and lamps and um, now we're gonna take a look at this little piece up here i'm very interested in because of the shape now i don't like the look of it i would spray paint it and you guys know my favorite color right now and home decor is black so we'll have to stick around and see what i picked up in the hall i want to show you guys a little bit more of their easter decor they have some really cute things this looks like something maybe from hobby lobby I'm not quite sure this is vintage it says 1972 so just slightly before when i entered this world i also thought this little print was so cute and sweet um they also had this vase now i know i promised i wasn't gonna get any more ceramic vases but this is from crate and barrel and it's only four dollars and i could remake it so did i get it <laughs> you guys will see soon 
Now this I think is really pretty. Um, it was a really good deal. I think $6. This would be beautiful outdoors, especially spring with maybe some ivy along the bottom in a pot. Um, I was tempted, did leave that behind. They also had some tiered trays that were very vintage looking, just kind of aged. And I love going through the different kitchen items. They had this beautiful milk glass punch bowl and um, cup set. And for $20, I love the little hoops on those little mugs. They also had a huge soup tureen for $5 with the spoon, which is hard to find and more Ray Dunn. So it's always fun to go to thrift stores and see kind of what's in, what's out. This caught my eye. This is definitely a Dollar Tree DIY. I think those little bottom pedestal feet are yo-yos. I see some Jenga blocks, a canvas, and a frame, and some wood beads. <laughs> I couldn't believe that was pretty funny to me. Now they also have some really pretty crystal pieces if you're a collector, and I did find more Ray Dunn. Look at this. Home Goods would have cost you $13, or you can get it for three at the thrift store. They had more up above with the original price tags on them. Now, I had not planned on swinging by the Goodwill, but I was in the area. So this is now in a Goodwill store. I found this little guy. I think he'd be great for St. Patty's Day if you painted him green, a little leprechaun. These are so pretty. I had a friend growing up who had a whole collection of these with different um, like ages on them. So for each birthday, she would get one. They honestly scared me to death because I was so afraid that we were going to break them if we were roughhousing at her house. Um, but lots of interesting little vintage looking pieces. This one is actually a little vase. Do you know what they're called? I think my daughter would probably really be into collecting some. Now this caught my eye because this is definitely Target Dollar Spot Ghost from a few Halloweens ago that does light up. And then I was spotting this over here, this wooden vase. As you guys know, I'm loving all of the wooden pieces that I'm picking up for our home. But I have to be honest, I very rarely buy anything from the actual thrift store Goodwill because their prices can be crazy. Like these bowls, they're beautiful, they're wood. I was interested in them, but for $15, I left them behind. I just feel like it's become really corporate and they just tag on lots of extra to things. Now, this reminded me of my childhood. I don't think they sell those Lifesaver tins that are metal anymore, but they um, definitely had a lot of metal pieces over here. I thought these were really cool. I think these are for baking, $4 for two of them. What about you? Do you like the Goodwill? Do you steer away from it? This is another example of why. So for $6, they had a basket, but it was like all beat up. Now, I thought this was cool. It was interesting. You can find some things every now and then, um, but for the most part, I just feel like some of their prices are crazy. $4, this had a lot of wear and tear to it. Otherwise, I would have picked it up if it was a dollar or two. Um, maybe I'm just cheap. I don't know. Let me know how you guys feel about the Goodwill down below. I do prefer the Salvation Army. It's a little bit farther away for me, but uh, for the most part, I love mom and pop thrift shops. They also had a whole Christmas section. I thought this was cute. Someone's little DIY. I think we're going with, you can find a lot of DIYs at the thrift store this time around and lots of things from seasons past. So I didn't recognize this guy. He is from Target. Threshold for $1.99. He was probably $5 at Target. And up above they had Halloween and Christmas and pretty much everything in between. I did really like this little wagon, but let's head home and see what I got. So here is everything that I picked up from a few different thrift stores. Now these are just some ceramic vases. They say $29.99 on them, but I'm pretty sure that's because they held orchids at one point. I got them for $1.50 a piece. 
I never pass up brand new items, especially from Ikea. So this is just a pillow cover for a dollar. Now, this is definitely a Target dollar spot item. I like to get things like that for my son's room. He can put his coins and things in that. I also found this for $2 that I thought was really pretty. It looks like it was from Home Goods and maybe cost about $5. I really like this ceramic piece. So I do have some coasters that will fit beautifully in it so i picked that up i've also been wanting to have a candy thermometer so that was just a dollar and then this brand new set of coasters that was three dollars or originally eight from home goods still in the packaging i love that i've also been looking for one of these little cheese slicers and it was just a dollar and then I picked up this vase. It was an FTD vase. It was just a dollar. And I love the gold detail along the bottom, whether I'm just putting flowers in a vase or gifting them. And then I picked up a few coasters. Can never have too many. These are really pretty for 25 cents a piece. And then I got this massive wooden bowl. Great for entertaining. It's in great shape. No real damage to it. Just needs cleaned up for $6. This at any store would probably be $30, I think. Now, I did pop into Ross. I'm going to show you guys. I just got two things there. I got these little candle holders, and they were on clearance for $1.99. I just really like those. And then I picked up this wooden vase. Now it is brand new, so I did pay more than I would have at a thrift store. It was $17, I believe $16.99. But I'm really happy with my purchases. So that was fun. They definitely had a lot of poultry this time around. Um, I have seen... I think her name is Vintage Porch. She's on Instagram and she's hilarious, but I've seen her do some amazing things with roosters like that. It did get me thinking about projects, but I have enough on my plate for now, so I'm not taking on any new projects, but then I'm gonna probably regret not getting or picking up some of those. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed coming with me and seeing what my thrift stores are like here in Texas and seeing what I picked up. And I'll see you guys back very soon.